Hello guys, I hope you are doing really, really well. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Notewise app for note taking with 15 tips and tricks. So let's start. The first tip is about opening your notes side by side using split screen view. For example, I want to open this note. I will select this arrow. Here is the open in split view option. So I will select it and it will open the same notes here in split screen. Now I can open another note on this side. So for example, I select this note and now I can also work on this note as well. The second thing is you can also share data between these notes. For example, I want to use this image. So I will just select it and then I select these three dots and I will add it to library. Now I can add the same image here on this note. So I open the library and then here is the image I just selected. So you can see the same image that is available here. Now I can use on this note as as well. You can also open a hyperlink in a PDF file. For example, I have this link I want to open. First of all, I will enable the scroll mode and then I will select this link. It is giving me the option to open the link. So I will press OK and then it will open the link for me. You can sync across all your devices and you can collaborate in real time. So you can see whatever I write on this device, you can also see it over here. For example, I will use this highlight so you can see it is also working on the other device as well. You can also drag and drop images directly from your internet browser into your notes. Take out the edge panel, open the internet browser in split screen. Now here I search this image on Google, but I want only this part of the image. So I will press and hold it like this and then I will select this clip subject from background and then I can easily drag and drop it into my notes and then here I can do all my editing for example I can also duplicate this image select these three dots here is the duplicate option so here you can see I can easily duplicate it then if you want you can also change its position you can rotate it and you can also change its size as well you can also copy text from a website and you can use it in your notes for example I select this text now I will copy it and in my notes, I will select this text tool. And now, for example, I want to paste it here. So I will just double tap it and I will paste it here like this. And then I select this tick option. So you can see the same text that I copy from here is now available in my notes and I can also edit it. You can also bring data from other apps into your notes. For example, I want this data from Excel sheet. So I will use the smart select tool. So here I will select this part and then I will use my S Pen and I can easily drag and drop it into my notes. You can also rearrange your pages, select this all pages option and here you can see all pages for your notes. Now for example, I want to rearrange this page, I will use my S Pen and I can drag it anywhere in this all page section. The next thing is you can also add or delete page directly from here as well. You can also use the bookmark option as well. Now let's talk about tools for this app. So guys, the tools are really amazing. The first tool that I'm going to talk about is shape tool. So inside the shape tool, we have a lot of options. For example, I select this star and then here you can change the corner for the star. So here you can see I can easily increase the corner or decrease the corner. And now I can also change the border width as well. I can change the opacity and I can also change the color. For example, I want to draw this shape. So here you can see this is how it looks like. Now for for example, you want to uh, make an arrow. For example, I select this arrow shape and then here you can change the border. For example, I want this dotted border and here you can see I can also change the start and end. So here you can see if I just select, so here we have different options. So you can select any of these and you can also change the end as well. For example, I want this end. And now for example, I want to make this shape. So here you can see this is how it looks like. You can also edit these shapes. For example, I select like this star so from here you can see I can easily change its dimension and I can increase the corner from here as well same thing for this shape if I select it and then I use the selection tool and then I select these three dots and from here you can change its dimension you can change its size and you can duplicate it as well then we have this pen tool inside the pen tool we have three different options so we have ball pen brush pen and we have fountain pen you can also change the thickness and you can also 
also use the hold to draw shape. For example, if I draw this kind of shape and then I will hold my pen, it will make it neat for me. And now I can make it bigger. I can also rotate it as well. You can also change the pen pressure sensitivity. So here is the pen pressure sensitivity. You can also customize it for colors. You can also customize your own colors as well. The next tool is highlighter. So inside highlighter, you can change the thickness. You can also change the opacity and colors as well. You can also use this hole to draw a straight line. So for example, if I want to highlight this part and I can hold my pen, it will make it straight line for me. And I can also change its dimension and its size as well. The next tool is eraser inside eraser. We have a lot of options. You can erase text, images, shapes, highlighter and handwriting as well. For example, now I want to erase this image so I can easily erase it. For example, I want to erase uh, this text so I can use this option as well. And if I want to erase the handwriting, I can erase handwriting from here as well. I can also clear current page and I can also change the size of the eraser. The next tool is lasso. So you can select rectangle or free form. Now, for example, I want to select this handwriting. I can select it like this and then I select three dots. So here are a lot of options available. I can change its dimension. I can duplicate it. I can also copy and cut it and I can also add it to library. You can also use laser tool if you want to highlight something important in your notes. So this will be really helpful if you want to use it for screen recording. The next tool is library. So whatever object you want from your notes, you can insert it into your library and later you can use it. For example, I want to use this object. I will just select it. And now you can see it is available here in my notes. After the library, we have this text tool. So if you want to insert the text, just double tap it like this. It will open the pad and here you can start writing. So here at the bottom, you can change the color. You can also change the font style. You can also change the font size. You can change the alignment. So all the text tools are available here. Once you finish, you can select the stick option and your text will be available here. You can also lock any part of your notes. Use this selection tool and now for example, I want to lock this image. So I will just select it like this. And now here you can see we have this lock option just select it. Now this image is locked. And now for example, if I want any other object on top of this image, I can easily do it. For example, I select this image and now I can easily insert on top of this image. Now, for example, if I again want to select this whole part, for example, I will select this whole part. So only this part will be selected the image is still locked. The next tip is about templates. Select three dots and then open change template. So here you can change the color of your templates. You can also change the size and you can also change the density, the line width as well. So here at the bottom, we have basic templates with four different options. Then we have this education templates and then we also have these music templates as well. Once you finish, you can apply it to current page or you can apply it to all pages. The next tip is about categorization. So you can categorize your notes according to folders and subfolders. For example, here I create this folder according to my semester and inside this folder, I create another subfolder according to my subject and inside this folder, I create my notes. So if you want to create folder, select this plus icon and here you see the first option is about create folder. Once you select it here, you can give it any name, select create and then you can also change the color. So we have different color options and you can also move it to another folder as well. The next tip is about PDF annotations. Select this plus icon and then import PDF file. Now here you can use all these tool for your PDF annotations. You can also copy and share the text of this PDF file. Just enable this scroll mode and now start selecting the text. So for example, I want to select this text. So I will select till here. Now here you can see it is giving me the option of copy and share. So I can easily copy it and I can use this text. 
Once you finish with your note taking, you can export your notes in three different formats. Select these three dots, select this export option. So you can export it as PDF, image or note wise. You can also change it to prefer quality or prefer speed. And you can also change the page scale as well. The next thing is you can also share your notes. So here is the share option. So you can also use this QR code or you can use this link as well. And once you send the link to your your friends or your colleagues they can open it in the internet browser and this is how it looks like in their internet browser the next tip is about page capacity so you can have up to 2000 pages per note now let's talk about pricing if you want to use it for free you will get up to 10 free notes now let's talk about the monthly subscription so here we have this 1 GB cloud storage which is $199 per month then we have 10 GB which is is $399 per month and then we have this Notewise Unlimited which is $999 per month. You can also use the yearly subscription option as well. You can also join the Notewise Discord. So here is the Discord option and here it will give you the invitation to join the Notewise community. So guys this is for today's video. Please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.